Hi everyone, so this is just a very quick video to talk about how you can use your calculator to solve a cubic equation. So this is our example from lecture one in which we're trying to solve for the molar volume of a real gas using the equational state that we've man manipulated to create this cubic equation. So what I would like you to recognize is from this expression for the molar volume, we can actually transform that into a cubic expression, an algebraic expression, in which the Vn cubed represents x cubed. And so we can sort of see how that format of a cubic equation is um, transformed from that molar volume expression that we have over there. So on to how to really solve that on a calculator. What we're looking for are those A, B, C, and D constants that we're going to input. So the way in which I do it, and this is a Casio calculator, you might have something different like a um, uh, well, different brand that you might want to test. So I'm going to go to mode and I'm going to pick number five over there to say that I want to solve an equation. And then I'm going to pick the form of the equation that I'd like to solve. And I'm going to pick number four over there because this is a cubic equation that I'd like to solve. And here we can see at the top of the calculator, it's asking for those A, B, C and D constants that we're going to take from our equation over here. So just very importantly, uh, we do need to take recognition of the sign included with those constants. Otherwise, we'll get an incorrect answer. So because there is no... Um, coefficient or number in, in front of the x cubed. We're just going to enter 1 for a, we're going to press enter, b is going to be negative 0 0.453, enter, c is going to be 3.61 times 10 to the power negative 2, enter, and d is going to be negative 1.55 times 10 to the power negative 3. So once I enter all of those constants, I can just say enter again, and it's going to solve my x for me. So x, or the molar volume in this case, is going to be 0 0.3659, whatever my unit is, most probably cubic decimeters. So if you have a different model of calculator, it's worth looking up whether yours can solve a cubic equation. It's quite useful in a problem like this. So I hope that's been helpful.